What's up guys, welcome to KVTV. We're gonna be looking at this guy right here. This is the dot mod dual mech We're gonna be looking at it up and close. I'm gonna take you guys down below look at it You know see the ins and outs and all that kind of thing very simple ish kind of mech mod But yeah, we're gonna do that and then I'll come back up here talk some pros and cons Nice and easy, right? All right, so um before I take you guys to the top down, remember advocacy. You gotta stay on top of it. Gotta do what we need to do. You don't have to do everything, but at least do something. If you care about vaping, if vaping has changed something in your life and you give that much of a damn, please do something. Make the phone calls, send the emails, bombard Twitter. You know, there are so many avenues for us to get a hold of our government officials that there is really very little excuse for you not to be able to do something. Don't wait around for somebody to do something for you. As I've said it before, Casa.org, AVA, VTA, amazing organizations. But you know what? You can't wait around for them to do something. You have to be part of the charge. You just can't wait for the charge to happen. You can't get mad if something hap ha doesn't or does happen. If you haven't actually done your part, it's one of those simple things, you know, stand up for what you believe in, stand up in what you want to see that be the change you want to see. All right. So I'll take you guys down below and I'll come back up. I'll see you guys right back up here. I keep messing that line up. I don't even know why I even try, but yeah, I'll catch you guys back up here. <laughs> All right, guys, so here it is, the, the Dot Mox Mech. I know these have been around for a minute, but you know what? I got my hands on one, and this thing is amazing. I do not have any packaging for it, so unfortunately I can't do that part for you, but we will go on and uh, do what we need to do. All right, so on this side right here, on this panel, you get this right here. There's your button right there. See, it's somewhat crunchy. Uh, I don't know. Either way, you get this guy right here where you turn it. Eh, no, nah, it won't let me. I, I don't know. I've noticed the turning mechanism on this thing isn't the greatest. So what I'd like to do is I use like a tool, of course. And I'll just show you this already. The battery trays on this side. Batteries go both positive up and such things. But back to this. This is the, where you get the settings. It goes parallel this way series this way you could kind of see it and then this is the off mechanism so you just turn it that way it's off turn it that way it goes series and you turn it back that is in parallel so that is that and then this plate just goes on top of that there is some nice uh strong magnets in here right there right there right there all four magnets they match up and do try to remember which plate is which even though it's very hard not to miss one of them is very plain it's uh solid and the other one has this giant hole cut out for the batteries all righty so all right so for batteries i have uh these 20s's right here as you can see 20s's just put them as i was saying positive up positive up Always make sure this ribbon is sticking out that way when you need to pull out your batteries. It's a lot easier because I've actually messed that up and it's not the easiest of tests. Alrighty, so there it is. And since we have it set up to positive, we'll get our our atomizer here. I have this little guy. It's a 22 millimeter. As you can tell, it's not like the world uh, doesn't eat up a lot of space. From what I can tell, you could probably go as far as a 24 it wouldn't be that big of a deal, but for now, I just have this guy right here. And you can tell, very, very nice. I mean, at a point three, and this thing's rocking on a parallel mod, it's amazing, honestly. It makes for a really good vape and not that big an issue. Alrighty. So I'm going to take you guys up top, and we will talk some pros and cons. Alrighty, cool. <laughs> All right, guys, so that was the dot mod squonk mech. Uh, like I said, it's a very simple mod. It's very straight to the point. You know, it's a, it's a mech. Mechs are very nice, simple things. I mean, I really don't know 
much about like the internals per se when it comes to the electronics of this but i'm just assuming there's just like a plate mechanism i really want to take this apart but then i don't and honestly i i, I like to probably think that uh dj lsb vapes did a teardown of this and i probably should have checked that out but you know what at the same time i'm just going by what's in front of me what i like about it what i don't like about it but let me just walk you through that at least you know um for me, parallel mods are the it. You know, it's one of those things like I love mech mods, but parallel is like that much better because you could run a lower build without worrying about the batteries doing something that you don't want to see. And then you could just vape away and it's a lot safer and this and that and that when it comes to your batteries while still vaping in a mech style. Um, as you can tell right now, I am juicing this thing real quick because I, I have to. It's kind of running dry and I feel it in the last pull I just did before uh, jumping back in here. But uh, on top of this, I am running the uh, Nixon S from Gas Mods. Uh, there will be a review for that guy here soon. Hold on. I messed this up. So there will be a review for the Nixon S here soon. So you'll see that later on in the week uh, from me posting this video or next week. However you want to look at it. You'll see it here in a couple of days. But um, I've been rocking a 0.3 on here, which has been amazing. I've on a, never really thought of a single coil atomizer on a mech parallel mod. But it's just working really great. And it's just kind of like a nice pairing. Here, check it out. Here, I'm going to show you also like. The ramp up it's mech so the ramp up is based on the battery how much they're charged and what your build is but check this out like that there's like let's see if you can hear the clickiness and you could see like how instantaneous that runs it has no lag no nothing no issues and it makes me just ecstatic to use it like I was not expecting it to be this small. Um, here for comparison, I will show you the, uh, I don't know, what do I have that most people have on average? Uh, here, let's see. This is the Cartel Revenant right here. And for comparison, that's how much more shorter it is. Even width-wise, here, I'll put it in front of it. And it's it's about the same width. A little, like, it's a little bit, sh like, less wider, but yeah. And then... I wish I had calipers so I could actually measure this. But either way, um, yeah, this thing just, it does an amazing job. Here, let me try with a bigger atomizer. Let's see what we have in front of us. Um, Where'd you go? I know I had a, there it is. Recoil Rebel. This one is at a point one. I want to say. So it's running at a point one. Uh, I will say 25. It's got a little bit of overhang. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, yeah, a little bit. You could kind of see the overhang a little bit. So I will say 25 won't fit on there, but a 24 probably fit it pretty nice. Oh no, that's the point. Yeah, that's the point five. Try to remember who's got what. Nope. Yeah, this is the point one. But yeah, this is the same exact mod on a point one, and that's very America. But yeah, uh, still just amazing. I I don't even know what what else to say. Like that, just it it hits good. It hits hard. Here, watch. Let's see if it'll let like it'll let you listen. And that's at a point one. That ramp up is just insane. It's very direct, on point, and it does not mess around. I feel like I mixed some things up over here, but. Do we even have enough juice in this? No. Either way, yeah, that is rocking a point one on a parallel mech mod. Like, it's on the dot mod parallel. This thing is still on parallel. Uh, when it comes to series, I have not ran it in series, to be bluntly honest. Uh, just to me, I don't know. Just series is something I enjoy from time to time, but it's not something that I like desperately look for or actually is within what I like to do when it comes to vaping. So 
It's one of those things that I've just been rocking it parallel with that um, Addy that I have on top of there. It's just battery life for days. Uh, I will say I've had like um, one like issue I've noticed from time to time, not always, is that it's it discharges one of the batteries faster being this one over this one. It tends to like do that. I don't know what is the deal with that. And it doesn't happen every time, but it does happen from time to time. So I, I don't know if it's just running one battery. So at that point, maybe be a little bit weary. But at the same time, I have not had any issues, but I'm also not building ridiculously low. Or it could be because I'm not building ridiculously low. It's not uh, taking charge of both batteries. And here, uh, since this is like a 0.3 build... Where do I? There we go. We're gonna, we're gonna we're gonna do this just for just for science sake over here. And I'm probably not gonna vape it, but here, this is it in series mode. You saw how fast that was. That's series right there. That is a series build for you, since it is a point three. That's series. And here, uh, wait, wrong. That's wrong door. I I I don't even know why I did that. Okay. Let's see if it'll show you. It's in series right there, and I'm gonna switch it back to parallel. And there we are in parallel. All right, so and then parallel. See how it's not as angry sounding? So, you know, it, like I said, it works both ways. It's more what are you looking for? And this kind of. It doesn't really half-ass two things. It actually did really well for two things, at least uh, like in my personal opinion and use of it. I do think it like they aimed for two things in one, and they did a pretty good job at it. Like I know there's been a lot of two-in-one items that have come out in the past, and they're not the greatest, but this kind of falls within. It's pretty good, pretty good. No. So yeah, that was the dot mod uh, mech mod uh mech duel yeah i'm trying to like mech duel sounds like a mech double uh all righty so that was that uh as always go check out clownvapes.com we are still working on the on the site change name i know i've been saying this for like a while now but i am working on that and trying to get that done so be on the lookout for that uh vaping with the omis on the vaping with the omis channel on monday 7 p.m central standard time come hang out you know you don't know what we're going to be up to you know all that kind of thing like guests and all this and that so it's always a good time you know it's one of those things come support your friends i appreciate it honestly uh wolf bite live i know this past week we did it on wednesday instead of sundays mostly because me and frank were just kind of we're kind of like dealing with a lot of personal stuff that we kind of had to take like a break and then, then extended by a little bit. So it's one of those things that like we're just kind of kind of just going along with things. Um, other than that, what else do I have? Yeah, we're still, Wolf Bite is still live on my channel. Be on the lookout for what day we announce, either on Twitter or, yeah, Twitter, Instagram, what have you, Facebook. Um, then uh, we are still live on Vape Radio at noon. On Saturdays, 9 p.m. Central Standard Time on Sundays. So there's that and SoundCloud. So there's your options for that. And as always, keep up with advocacy. Do every part you can. Nobody can advocate better than you better than you for yourself. And as always, mix on, vape on.